Sabah everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to check out a couple of audio solutions from Samsung. We have the wired headset solution as well as the wired lavalier solution, both utilizing the USB interface or the USB-C interface audio solution for better audio out of our systems, be it PC, be it Mac, Chrome OS, or even mobile. This is TK, let's check them out. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. Both of the audio solutions that we're looking at today, either the headset or the lavalier, are going to be utilizing the same USB-C audio interface that also includes USB-A adapter to be able to convert it to systems that don't have USB-C. The benefit of this is the ability of having a basically dedicated headphone jack and a dedicated microphone jack and the ability of muting our microphone if we need to. Now both of these microphones are going to be wired so definitely will work great in here and if you want to be able to listen to audio at the same time that's one of the great things about this interface is that it actually becomes a headphone jack or basically a headphone jack to a system that doesn't have one. So for me on my S22 Ultra this provided me audio output of course when I was using it with my Chrome OS but Chromebook it also did the same thing it provides me a headphone jack in the same way with the PC or with the Mac. That's the basic interface there. No software needed, just plug in and pretty much start using it right out of the box. Now, when it comes down to the actual interface, there's two different configurations. We have the headset that comes with two earrings so that you're able to actually hook it around your ear. And it actually obviously puts the microphone straight against our, our cheek or basically positioned close enough to the source. So that's going to be the first solution that we're going to take a look at. The second solution obviously is a lavalier microphone, which pretty much runs the same with most lavaliers. I'm using one right now, but essentially the experience there is that it's fixed, it's sitting, and there is a certain amount of distance between your subject and where the microphone is present. So that's going to be one of the two differentiating experiences. Which one will give us better audio? The one that's closest to us or closer to our mouth or the one that's sitting in a position where it doesn't actually have any contact with our face? Because if you listen to that part, you're definitely going to see how the clips kind of go there. And as far as the fit, it's pretty straightforward. You just basically put it around your neck, position it straight on the ear. So basically it loops in there and there's no chance of it falling off and it's pretty much straightforward for the headset. The lavalier is pretty much straightforward, similar to the way I have it right here. You just basically run it through your shirt and it's pretty much easy to go. Uh, both of them feature a 10 foot long cable so you can definitely have some distance between you and the camera without having to worry about it. And of course both connect via wired solution. These are not wireless solutions. Um, so let's go ahead and actually switch over uh, to my Chrome OS Chromebook as well as my S22 Ultra. I wanted to share with you guys a little bit of an example of how does this actually help us improve the audio and the differences between a microphone that's positioned in a headset or a microphone that's positioned directly on uh, the lavalier solution because overall the positioning of the microphone can make a big difference into how the audio is made and what interferences we may have. One last thing before we jump into the actual video sample, I want to mention is both of these microphones are omnidirectional. So this is something to Keep in mind that that's the type of audio profile that you're going to be getting out of these microphones. So let's go ahead and switch over again, as I mentioned to you guys, to my Pixelbook Go and my S22 Ultra. We're going to start off by doing a baseline audio experience from two different devices at the same time. I'm recording it right now on the S22 Ultra from Samsung using the built-in microphones uh, in my kitchen where there's a lot of flat surfaces, which will provide us a little bit of echoing. Now, Samsung may do a little bit better job than, let's say, another PC solution where the audio from the microphones that comes in there, like what we're talking here with the Pixelbook Go, will have a lot more echoing going on. So this is where a microphone system set up like this will be very functional. The audio interface will work just the same on Android, um, on your Chrome OS, or even on your PC. The main thing is to use the right connection, so either be it USB-C or USB-A, use the adapter that's included in the box. And at this point, you'll be able to get a headphone jack as well as a microphone jack, separate, they're not connected, and also the ability of muting your microphone jack just by pressing a button when connected. So this is a baseline of the audio between an S22 Ultra as well as a Pixelbook Go, which runs Chrome OS. And of course, to be able to get a true comparison, how does the audio compare between the two microphones at the same time? Now I'm recording with the S22 Ultra using the lavalier solution. So this one's connected directly to the S22 Ultra. And of course, when we switch over to the Pixelbook Go, we're using the headset solution, and that's connected again to the USB-C port. Both did not require any software or any option. The moment I plug them in, the video camera solution here on the Pixelbook Go, as well as the S22 Ultra, recorded them automatically and recognized them automatically. The difference here is obviously, how does the audio sound between the two? So from that solution, now we're using the uh, S22 Ultra. You'll notice that the audio is basically positioned here. Now, this is definitely a little bit better than what we saw with the original or heard with the first uh, clip on the S22 Ultra. Samsung already does some pretty decent algorithmic uh, noise reduction to provide us less echoey sound from an environment like this. But when we switch it over to the Pixelbook Go, we definitely have a night and day type of an experience here where the audio is so much better. 
I will say this much though, for the headset solution, one thing that we probably want to be aware of, if you are a person that has a beard or any kind of facial hair around where this microphone will sit across your face, is that it will create or pick up some sounds from your facial hair. And what I mean by this, If for any reason your facial hair touches it, there is a little bit of movement around or by the, by the fact of the hair just moving around the, the, uh, the actual microphone, providing a little bit of background hissing or noise in the background. Now, some people may be okay with this. May, this may not be an issue. You could just pretty much do what I did in the beginning and that's remove the microphone and put it a little bit higher. Now, it does position it slightly above where the audio source is, but it, depending on how you project, this should be a pretty decent experience. And of course, when we switch it over back to the S22 Ultra, the lavalier solution just works absolutely the same. It doesn't touch anything. You position it where you want it and the audio works perfectly. The one thing I will say though, if you do want to be able to shut off the audio, let's say you're getting somebody walking up to you, you don't want that conversation recorded. You can just basically use the And then of course, press it again for it to come back. Whenever you have that red light, that means the audio is not working. So this is a good example of what the audio should sound like when you're using both the, either the lavalier or the headset solution. Now, as you saw there with the audio experience, the overall difference obviously is night and day. Once you plug in these microphones, the audio becomes more personal, it becomes more directional, and it is closer to the subject, and we lose that echo that we had at the beginning. The Pixelbook Go had it worst. Obviously, it was picking up everything because the microphones were just not, at, nope, not professional grade. Uh, and the other thing, obviously, with the S22 Ultra, we noticed that even though it didn't have as much of a pronounced echoing, it was still very clear that I was using the microphones on the phone. Both of them work very easily. As I told you, you just plug in the actual interface and it works great. Now, for me, I will say this, the lavalier solution works the best. Not to say that the headset does not, but I always have to be very aware and very clear of where the headset is positioned because I can't hear the audio that's coming in directly into the microphone if I have it sitting there and it's rubbing against my mustache or rubbing against my beard. And this is something that only the audio engineer or the person after we recorded will hear it. So to circumvent that, I feel like the lavalier solution worked the best for me. But for you, it obviously could be either or. I think both solutions offer us a very unique perspective and functional usage. The lavalier is great. It has to be positioned here, but I feel like the microphone that's positioned directly to your mouth is much more personal and it gave us a little bit higher audio profile because it was closer to the subject. Where here, it's actually having to capture my audio as I'm projecting it. So this is something just to keep in mind. Both solutions sound great. Both offer us different experiences and it's gonna come down to what you feel like will fit your usage. If you're using it with a PC, with a Mac or a Chrome OS, it's just, again, plug and play. If you're using it with your mobile device, most of them will support, at least the Samsung devices will support external audio by default. You don't have to do anything. Once you plug it in over USB, the audio will say in the camera app, recording audio over USB, and that's pretty much straightforward. Um, if third-party applications do not allow you to actually configure that, uh, there's no way to, for me to configure that and make sure to let you know which one it is. If you're using Zoom or any other application, you should be able to select your audio source the same way we can do it on our PC. So I want to say first and foremost, this is definitely very nice. Thank you very much to Samson for allowing me to check out both of these solutions and of course to be able to offer you guys my experience after using them. Uh, but at the end of the day, you need to pick out whichever one fits your needs. Let me know in the comments below which one did you think sounded better. Of course, as always, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.